will see a problem on calculation of the unknown load and total elongation. Here we have a question. A circular bar having 200 mm square area is subjected to axial loads as shown in figure. The diagram is given. In this diagram, we have a bar divided into three sections, AB, BC and CD. AB is having one meter length. Similarly, BC and CD, they also have one meter length. Then there are load acting at various points. Next, find the value of P. This is the unknown load and total elongation. Take capital E as 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. So now here we have this question. I'll write the data first. A circular bar having 200 mm square area is subjected to axial loads as shown in figure. Find the value of P, the first question. And total elongation, second question. That is delta L. Take capital E, Young's modulus, 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. So now this is the question which we have. Let us try to get the solution to this problem. And in the solution, how to start? First of all, P is the unknown, the first unknown value. And as we see in this diagram, all the loads, they are horizontal. So I'll use the equilibrium condition and from that I'll get the value of P. Solution. Since for equilibrium of the bar, I can use the condition summation of all horizontal forces is equal to zero where I will take rightward forces as positive and leftward forces as negative. So therefore, here we have P which is acting towards right. So P is positive. Then 50 kN is towards left, so negative. 20 kN is towards left, so negative. 50 kN is towards right, so positive. This is equal to 0. From this, 50 and 50 will get cancelled out. 20 when it shifts onto the other side. So here we have positive 20 kN. And this is the value of unknown load we have found out. So our answer number 1. Now, the second part is to calculate the total deflection and for that we have to separate each of the bars and while separating we would be calculating the deflection in portion AB, in portion BC, in portion CD and we would be adding them together. So first I'll separate AB portion because the section which is there in the middle it should be calculated at the last. So first I'll calculate the deflection in portion AB next in portion CD and at last in portion BC. Now, I'll separate AB. It has a length of one meter. In AB portion, here as we see, at A the load is 50 kN towards left, at B the load is P which is acting towards right. So which one to select? At B as we see, this is the junction formed when AB and BC, they are connected. So this value of P is the addition when we get in portion AB and portion BC together. So we have to start from the individual point that is at A. Here the load is 50 kN acting towards left. So this, we have to start it from here. 50 kN towards left. 
to balance this we have another load which is acting towards right so here we see ab portion is subjected to tension so i'll say that now deflection in portion ab that deflection is given by delta l in ab is equal to pl upon a this is the formula of deflection in portion ab now the load which is acting it is tensile so it has to be taken positive area is constant it is given 200 so i'll go on putting the values p it has to be taken positive because it is tensile value is 50 kilo newton so it is 50 into 10 raised to 3 newton into length is 1 meter so it is 1000 mm upon area capital A that is given as 200 in the problem and Young's modulus is 2 into 10 raised to 5. So from this, I'll get deflection in portion AB. My answer will be positive and it is 1.25 mm. Positive answer means there will be increase in length of the bar. Next, after getting deflection in AB, I'll say that since deflection in portion CD is given by for that I have to separate this portion CD from the diagram I'll separate this length is 1 meter This is portion CD. Now, if we look into the diagram, I see there is 20 kN load, but C is formed by the junction. It is formed by BC and CD together. So we, we won't be taking this 20. I will start from individual load that is 50 kN acting at D. This is 50 kN. To balance this, we should have another 50 kilo newton load acting towards left. Now, here again I'll use the formula of deflection in portion CD that is equal to PL upon AE in portion CD. So now, as we see again this 50 kilo newton is producing a tensile load so deflection will be positive p is 50 into 10 raised to 3 newton length is 1 meter so it is 1000 mm area is 200 and e young's modulus is 2 into 10 raised to 5 so from this i'll get deflection in cd and my answer is again it is 1.25 it has to be same because the load value is same as AB portion. So again, there is an increase in length. Now, after getting deflection in portion CD, next, we have to calculate the deflection in portion BC. So I'll separate this. Portion BC. having a length of 1 meter. Now, this is important. At B, we are having load P whose value was 20 kN we have found out. So now, the total answer at this junction, this should be 20. Because we have found out the unknown load. 
So I have to look at the load which is acting at point B for portion AB first. So in portion AB, the load is 50 kilo Newton acting towards right. So now I should know how much load I have to add at portion B at portion B so that my total answer will come out to be 20 that is on addition of AB and BC. So see the logic here at B I have 50 kilo Newton. Now the total answer which I want it should be 20 kilo Newton towards right. So if it is 50 kilo Newton if I add 20 in that it will be 70 and I don't want the answer to be 70. The addition answer it should be 20 kilo Newton. So from this 50 if I subtract 30 then it will give me that is if I introduce a load which is towards left. So 50 is positive, 30 is negative, 50 minus 30 will give us 20. So it means at B, the load should be 30 kilo Newton and acting away. And to balance this, we should have another value of the same load on point C. Now, if we look in the diagram, I'll explain it. In portion C, the total value should be 20. Now, at C, we are having 50 kilo Newton towards light, uh, left. So this is minus 50. Then here I have plus 30. So minus 50 plus 30, that gives me minus 20. And minus 20 means it should be towards left. So whatever I have written here, that is correct. So here I'll write down since deflection in portion BC, it is given by deflection in BC is equal to PL upon AE in portion BC so therefore deflection in BC is equal to P it is positive because it is tensile as I can see here it is 30 kilo Newton so 30 into 10 raised to 3 length is 1 meter so it is 1000 mm area is 200 mm square Young's modulus 2 into 10 raised to 5. So here I'll, I'm getting my answer as deflection in BC is 0 0.75 mm. And since this answer is positive, it means there is an increase in length. So hence, I can say that once I know all the individual deflections, so therefore, total deflection is given by delta L is equal to delta L for AB plus delta L for BC plus delta L that is the deflection for CD. So therefore delta L is equal to in AB I was getting the value as 1.25 in BC it is 0 0.75 all are positive values in CD it was again plus 1.25 so therefore deflection is 3.25 mm the answer which I have and since this answer is positive it means there is an increase in length of the bar so this is my final answer so I can say that therefore the total effect of all the loads is to increase the length of the bar. 
So this is the total effect. So as we see in this problem, they were telling us to get the unknown load. We have found out the value. It was 20 kN. Next, total deflection of the bar, we have found out it is 3.25 mm and this results in increase in length of the bar because of all the load. And with this, we complete the question.